Well, it's the first legal Ormering tide of the year. And we're heading down to the beach. Now, it's a very poor tide, actually. It's not very big at all, so we're not expecting um, a big catch necessarily, but we're only down there to see if we can get a handful of Ormers. We're gonna make it a fairly short trip, I think. The next few days the tides are bigger, but I'm not sure if we're gonna go on, go on those. We'll see how we get on today. As, uh, as you know, we just recovered from sickness and that, so. But we're all getting a lot better, or well, we are better now. But I haven't tried walking around the boat, beach pulling rocks yet, so that might <laughs> be a test. <laughs> that might be a test. I mean, I'm so unfit from all the stuff that's been going on. We'll find out. But anyway, we'll catch up with you when we get down the beach, and uh, yeah, we'll start looking for them abalone. There's the sea, just about, looking rather green, must be a bit of swell. Well, we've arrived, we pull in a bit because of this wind, there is a bit of a breeze. Uh, we just passed about three car parks and they're completely full. So many people going down, which surprises me actually, it was such a small tide, but it does seem to be going down okay, further than a would have expected so that's good must be high pressure it's making our way up but we had to slow down because Rebecca just took a bit of a fall but she's all right here's the effects of the illness still haven't worn off yet There's a little conger eel there, look. A little tiny conger eel. Tiny, tiny conger eel there. go they're fast these ones mm -hmm. normally in very very deep water or you will find them in very very deep water First one. Yeah. yeah. First one, and it's legal. Where there's one, there's more. Yep. Yeah. Big enough, though. That one won't be, I don't think, but we'll check it. Anyway. That'll be too small, so I'll put that one back. You'll find its way. This one, I think, might make it. Yeah. It's a legal one. stone bigger over there you go it's a lovely one that that's definitely legal oh, 
Another little conga. So there you have a conga, small one. There he goes. I'll have to get him out of the way anyway because I don't want him in the way when I put the rock back. Pretty good on the land. <laughs> I think no. Nope. Didn't show on that side anyway. Rock. That's the sort of rock you want. Never felt fond around that. There. There. I think this is legal. I think that one's not legal. Let's find out. That's legal. And this one, I'll leave it on there. No, I think that's just under that one. But I'm not going to quibble about it. If it's under, it's over. It's too small. But... Like I always say, where there's one, there'll be more. That'll be legal, I don't have to measure that one. There you go. Another one. It's going well. Yeah. <laughs> We're nowhere near the water either. This is interesting. I thought they might have gone deeper with the storms, but they haven't. Oh, they've come back. very flat one that yeah you get that at the other end of the island they're very very flat mm. it might be actually that way because they're the tide is so fast there they probably stay a bit more profile than the shells no, millimeter under yeah but it's under, so just gotta go back. Plus, you won't get us an hour later. Yep. Promising rock. Just give me a minute. I'm not fit. <laughs> They're both sides. Oh, I know for sure. I will check just to be sure, but I know they are sides. Yeah, easy, easy, both of them. So nice pair under that little stone. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Look at it. That's enormous. I don't think I've ever come across one that big. I mean, I've seen some big ones, but look at it. Just look at it. That is a giant. As far as Melbourne swimmers go, wow. That is an impressive crab. Right, I've got to get this rock back. Because it's got eggs under it as well. <laughs> oh, 
that's the art, it's to spot the right rocks. Don't lift all the rocks, just lift the ones with ormers. There's a tiny one, nothing else. Put stone on because it moves and we're crushing it. What was that that was flapping around? Conga. Another conga. No, no, rockling. Sorry. Rockling. Yeah. There. Yeah. Okay, I'll pull it off and you get it with a knife. Do it from the side so the camera sees you. Right, you ready? Go. Fire. Got it? Yep. No more? I don't think so. Tiny little one. Okay. okay. There we go. It's a nice one. Bag's got to be a bit weighted. in that hole there people lots of people passed it but they obviously but some of the biggest today like that yeah, that's a, wow you know and they're all big yeah so I'll shove them all in and sort them out off <clears throat> yeah I think that one's Ormer of the day that big one there's another one there yeah, another big one yeah it's the old yeah. shell is and these medium size so all good stuff yeah, that's good. <laughs> this is the, the granddad of all Ormers. So I lifted this rock up and then I saw the little rock underneath. Flip that one over and look at that. That's what happens. It's probably been sitting there for a, quite a few years or a few years. People lifting the big rock and left a little one. Just shows what you can find under small stone. That's our biggest today, I think. I think biggest so, this year yeah. so far. Yeah. Let me think yeah. about it. And there's a couple the of other ones. shell's still in good condition. Yeah, though. there's a normal size one. <laughs> it just shows it. Like, yeah, the shell is in good condition for its size. Because normally the shells start to get a bit rough. I'm going to let that rock go for a minute. Right. There we go. Very nice. Makes that one look tiny. But those. That's just oversized that one. That's a bit bigger and that's a nice large one. It's got a big foot on it that one. Right, let's stoke back. Right, we are gonna head back up the beach now. Uh this is a short trip today, really. I mean there's still loads of people down there, but we're gonna head back now. We got more than enough. We uh, I got I got a lot more than I thought I was gonna get today. Definitely. I thought I was gonna get a dozen. I've got about three dozen I reckon. I reckon. So anyway. A friend has asked for some, so we're going to get hold of him when we get back, so he can have some, and then we're going to cook up the rest. So uh, I'm probably not going to go the next two days. It'll just be this tide. There's three tides, but we're probably going to only do the one tide uh, on this one. We've got more than enough on this uh, forage, so we don't really need to come back and get more. Although we might go on one just to have a bit of a mooch around. I might go look for a lobster or something when it's a bit bigger, but we'll see. That won't be for a, not tomorrow, but the next day, so we'll see about that. But right now, I'm just going to check what we've got and make sure everything is legal. We put anything back that doesn't quite make the gauge or might be right on the gauge. But there's a couple. The trick here is to start with all the ones we know that are legal straight away. 
which is all of these. I'll just double check these, I guess. That one's big enough for sure. Yeah, no dispute in that. one actually yep that's debatable oh it's right on the gauge I'm gonna put that one to one side we might put that one back that size that'll be size that size that size and that and that they should all be size and we gave them a quick Check, this one's debatable. Again, that's right on the gauge. We'll leave that one to one side. That's easily sized. Those two are size. This one is... There, yeah, see, there's one. Fractionally under that one. So it just shows when you gauge them quickly, you don't always get them. That's why you could double check them before we leave the beach. And that one's a debatable one as well. I'll put that over there. That's size, that'll be size. But normally it's a quick gauge, chuck it in the bag and then move on and then check them later on. Another one I think I'll put back. We don't need to take them all, so we've got enough. That's, that, that'll be size easy, it's got a very long shell here. That was easily size, that one. Uh, this one, again, I'll look at that one again. That one's size, that one's size. And that one's easy size. Right, let's get these in the bag. Have a count up. There you go. One, three, five, seven, ten. There's ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. There's 30 in that bag. So I'm just going to double check these other ones. Those three I'm going to put back for sure. I'm definitely going to put them back. This one, it is size because you see it sits in the gauge. Let me just check this. That one there looks small. I mean, it's it's it doesn't back. seem to look the no, much meat in it either. No, it's too small. I mean, and that one there, it's size, but it's got a chip shell, so I'm just going to let that one go as well. So we'll let all of those go. Should we just I'll tell you? Should we just should we just go with the thirty? That'll do it. Yeah, thirty. We'll take thirty, right? Yeah. So we're nice going to put round these, number. I, I know one of these is undersized, and the other ones are right on the gauge, so we're not going to bother with those. So we're going to. Put them all back. 